The story of Job in the Bible seems to give us permission to ask some difficult questions. I mean, Job asked some difficult questions in the story, and it seems to kind of give us permission to do the same. You know, like, why does suffering happen? And is, is Satan really allowed to, like, go to God and make, like, these bets and ruin people's lives? And, you know, why would God do such things? And, you know, why does God give permission to Satan to do that stuff? And, and where are my friends when all these things happen? And Job asks all these questions. But as you get to the end of the story, it's not a question that really draws you in. It's actually a statement that Job makes. The very end of the story, after Job has kind of confronted God and God's confronted Job and has come to this place, Job says a profound thing. He says this. He says, My ears had heard of you, but now my eyes have seen you. And then Job falls to his knees and repents before God in dust and ashes. I, I found it to be a, a fascinating statement. Here's a guy who God himself said, lived a righteous life, was blessed by God, you know, did everything right. He, he was literally held up by God as an example. But here he is saying, before this experience of suffering, I never really saw God. I had heard about him. I knew about him. I was living for him. I never really saw him. Is that what it takes? I mean, do you have to suffer to see God? Do you have to be broken, you know, cracked in half? You have to go through terrible experiences? Does it have to be that difficult before we really see him? I don't know, that's, that's hard stuff. Have you seen God? Have you met him face to face or do you just know about him? Job, through his suffering, saw God in a whole new way. He, in fact, I think he lived out the rest of his life with a whole new perspective on who God was.